Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're visiting me on Instagram, welcome back to my IGTV. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that little bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a video. If you're watching this on Instagram or Facebook, be sure to give this a like or a thumbs up. Also, uh, make sure that you're following me so that way you do get notified whenever I put something up. So, it's been quite some time. Uh, you saw my new chair. That was my Mother's Day gift. I didn't want to tell you guys. I was super surprised. I was so excited. It came in yesterday. We set it up. Oh, it's the best. I've had a rough week so far. Um, my 18 month old decided that 7 a.m. is a really good time to go to sleep. So, I'm really struggling. But, I did already get some mail today. The first thing, I already opened it, but I want to show you. I plan on using this at my t-shirt store, uh, m and every day. Uh, so, let's see. So I got this. I am most certainly an I Love Lucy fan. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of like an old soul. Um, I like that. I like the Golden Girls, which I also have fabric for, by the way. Um, and I like a lot of the old timey stuff. I used to watch like Green Acres and things like that. Maybe it's because I did spend a lot of time with my grandmother as a kid. Or maybe I'm just an old soul and we just like, you know, had a great time together because we had a lot in common. Eh, who knows? I also um, order from Waywack. They are a sewing supply store or even, they do like laundromats type stuff too. like markers for tailors and um like garment bags and things like that so not just for people like me they're for anyone that sews or big businesses they have really fancy irons also a lot of a lot of stuff more stuff who needs that much wrapping Good night. Oh, this will mean nothing to you guys, but this is leather tape. I actually use this um, to hold down pieces when I'm doing bags that have, uh, I use fake leather. Um, and I use vinyl. Oh my God. So I really needed one of these, like no joke. Needed one of these. My kids and their tiny hands tend to throw all my pins all over the floor in the office. And I step on them. Oh, my husband steps on them. Usually it's him. I don't know why it's never me, except for last night. Last night I got a good pin through the foot. Did not see it. It was entangled in the carpet and was sticky like straight up. I had a hard time even getting it out. So I need this for any time a kid spills pins onto the floor so that way I can easily pick it up. So it's a magnetic wand. Yeah, because I need to be able to find them. Um, instead of using the uh, needle attraction devices that we call feet, um, I will use this from now on. I will use this lovely device. And, you know, it's kind of corny looking, but it's about, to, it's about to save some feet around here. Oh goodness. Oh, and they packed all my other stuff I order into this lovely... I get all the Ziplocs from them, and then I reuse them. Um, this is partly my order, partly my mother's order, so this is hers. We're not going to worry about that. I got a new serger thread that I'm going to try. A serger is what I used if you watched my um, headband video where we made headbands for the nurses and you saw me using this machine it cuts and kind of uh, with thread seals up the uh, raw edges so this is called uh, this is like a maxi lock stretch um, it's supposed to be oh it's a soft like yarn and it's supposed to like stretch so like in the headbands they need to have a little bit of like a give and the ones that I make have like this seam that go all the way along the circumference of your head and so I need to be able to have a give so when people put it on, they can stretch it to put it on. 
The one I have now was not really giving into that, so I'm hoping, yeah, and pink's the only color they had. Luckily, you don't see these. It's on the inside of the headband, so does it really matter that I got pink? I'm gonna say no. Um, and also, I ran out of brown thread. Um, I was using brown thread for my men's masks. Um, and I wasn't sure which brown was gonna go with the fabric that I have. Um, we're using, let's look, let's pull it real quick. So I have this. This is our men's masks options. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this in plain. That's like what I've got for you right now. Just because, like I told you. Oh, look, this might work out. Actually, that's kind of a pretty accent color. I don't know. See? That's pretty. Maybe I'm the only thing so. Actually, this might go better on this one. But yeah, this brown kind of nailed it spot on. Great, because I made a bunch last night and I was running out of brown. So we had some issues with that. Problem solved. I'm so happy it came in today. And then I got red and white because everyone always needs white. What oh, were so special about these? I tried them because they were different. There's my... I forgot. They all look the same. Like all the threads look the same and they don't have like a label. But I know I got something because it was different. I got them. Polyester. What did you say it was good for? I'm not to refer to my magazine catalog because there was a reason I got it to try. And then I'm also going to try this. It's a Choco liner. This, I'm supposed, I'm having a hard time. So, like, you saw how dark that, like, brown fabric is. I trace my, uh, the pattern pieces for the mask onto it, and then I hand cut them out because I try to get the most out of my fabric. And I can never see the lines because the black, I have plain black that I gotta cut, really dark. Navy's really dark, hard to see. I have all these colors that are really hard to see, and I'm like, my eyes are getting strained. So, I got this thing. Oh, I do, I see it now. This has a tiny little, you probably can't even tell, it has a tiny little wheel here. Oh, that's how it writes. Oh. I'm gonna give this a try. My mom recommended it, so you know it's gotta be good. Okay. That's all of that that I wanted to show you. My printer also got here today too, so uh, that thing's heavy. I'm not about to like bring it up here and unbox it for you. So uh, just know you'll see that later when I get it set up. So got the chair. You see her back, backish there. Yeah, love it. Best Mother's Day gift ever. I don't know how my kids are gonna do themselves next Mother's Day. Actually, I don't care. They can make me like a macaroni frame, and that would be like the best thing ever. I love like little handmade gifts and stuff. But yes, also love the chair. So don't get me wrong. I love it all. They give me anything. I would still love it. So done this is a huge box for that tiny bag i feel like they could have used a smaller box welcome back my camera is alive again you probably didn't know this but my battery totally died so here we are a couple hours later after my battery has come back to life <sighs> so i want to tell you guys about my coffee so i am doing combination of two things when i can go head out to starbucks which means my husband went out to Starbucks for me, I'm getting Starbucks coffee. But on the days that I can't do that because he is an essential worker, I've decided to go back to filling up my fridge with the Starbucks cold brew coffee you can get at the grocery store. So that's where I got this. This is all to say thank you to this week's beautiful coffee angels, Valeria and your family. You guys are the bomb.com. Thank you so much for fueling this mom and fueling this business because pretty much if I ain't got coffee, ain't nothing gonna happen. So that's just what it is. If you are interested in also sending coffee, um, you can go ahead and there's a link in my bio or in the description. It's in both places. If you're on Instagram, it will be in the bio. It's also in the description on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, it's not a 
mandatory thing, okay? You can always just come here just to watch the video. But I have been asked how can people support me? And besides liking and sharing, um, some people wanted to do a little bit more. So they've become my coffee angels. Uh, coffee angels just either PayPal or Venmo me money, which I spend on coffee. And in turn, coffee fuels me to make all the things, make all the videos, boom, boom, boom. It's just coffee, okay? What's the answer? Coffee. How are we doing all this? Answer, coffee. That's it. Nothing else. So, there you go. There's that. So, important business things we need to talk about. If you have recently ordered a mask, and by the way, I am taking mask orders, you need to DM me or message me in order to do that. So whether you're on Facebook or Instagram, send me a message if you want to order masks. You will get to choose your fabric. That was not an option when we did the um, when we did stuff for donation, but now that you are a paying customer, thank you, um, you'll be able to pick your fabric. I already have stuff set up for you to choose from, attachment options to choose from also, whether you want pocket, no pocket. We're shipping all of them for free, so it'll just be the amount. $10 for no pocket, $12 for pocket. If you want to know the status of your order, I have given every mask order a number, and this number only applies to masks. Um, you can follow along on my stories. Every day I'm uploading to let you know what went out the door, what I'm sewing today, and what's next in line. So follow along. Again, I'm doing it in numerical order. So if I'm on order of 49 and you're 53, I haven't gotten to you yet. But keep following along because one day very soon, 53 will be popping up on my IG stories. So follow your order and you'll know, it'll be a little heads up. And then eventually you will get your tracking number to let you know that it in fact left the shop. So if you have any questions, hopefully you don't, please just follow, um, follow along, look at the stories, um, see where we're at with all the things. Da -da -da. I'm gonna get my printer set up. And I have some more masks to be made, as well as I have a visitor. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna make more masks. I have a bunch of orders to get out for other stores. Uh, who busy? I'm gonna spend all night tonight packing, which if you're me, mine might be packing till seven o'clock tomorrow morning, depending on when my child wants to go to sleep. Well, who knows? So I have about, what time is it? It's 4.30. So potentially I have 11 more hours to work which means make stuff for three stores and masks on top of that. Believe it or not, it takes a whole 11 hours to run three stores and make masks, which are on top of my regular workload. So let's begin. Shh.